Right then, welcome to another Osmo video. By now you probably already have installed, or thinking of installing, the new latest and greatest firmware from DJI for the Osmo. In this video I'm just going to go over some of the, the main points of this, this firmware, the new features and some of the optimizations that it brings. First thing, uh, it's the fan control. You probably notice the fans making a noise. You can now turn it off while you're recording. You do need the new Go app. For most of these features, you need the new Go app. It should be out for both iOS and Android by now. So I'll show you how to disable the fan. You do it from the camera icon. Go back there. And you need to scroll to the bottom for audio control. It might be called something different in Android. I know they had a discrepancy before, but audio control. And in there, you notice it says mute fan. I have it enabled already. You can just turn it off, enable it again. And when you do enable it, it brings up a little warning. You can't see it on the video because it's too bright, but it tells you when recording audio, the fan will only be active if the camera's core temperature is high. Please avoid touching the camera. And that's what it tells you. So you click OK. And what this does is when you're in video recording mode, if you listen now, you can hear the fan. If I just start recording, it goes nice and quiet. You can probably still hear the gimbal, but you can't hear the fan. So if I stop recording, fan comes back. Start recording, fan goes off. And again, like I told you, you can actually disable this feature. Recording. So you can actually turn that feature off. So now, if I start recording, the fan doesn't turn off. So, useful feature if you're in a very hot climate. Although it did say in that warning that if the camera gets too hot, it'll turn the fan on. But if you live in a very hot country, I live in the UK, so no chance of that, it will come on. So, your mileage on this one might be hit and miss depending on what what climate you're in right then. next feature that they've added is a digital zoom uh, I don't know how well you'll see this but if you pinch and drag the screen it starts zooming in that's 1.4 tells you right in the middle what the what the zoom is so that's 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.2 1.3 1 1.4 1.5 6 um, eight, nine, two point oh. And you've got two times digital zoom. I don't know how much use you're going to make of that. It works quite well for distance objects. So maybe you can, actually if you're doing a panoramic or something, you can tweak it out. But again, it's a feature that people ask for, and DJI have added it. Next thing, uh, you probably know the color modes. Look the color modes. I'm on none at the moment. They've added one called Portrait. Uh, it's a new feature. Click on it. Just kind of darkens the image, I think. I, I'm not really sure what you'd want to use it for. I think D-Log is probably the best one. Another change they've done to this is the Cine-like. used to make everything orange. It doesn't make everything orange anymore. So it's how it should have been in the first place. Taking DJI long enough to fix it. But they have fixed it. Let's set it back to none for now. What else have we added? Uh, oh, yeah. Go to photo mode. <clears throat> and if you hold the trigger, the shutter button, it does multiple photos. Um, wait for it to finish saving. One thing it doesn't do is do the same thing from the app. Not sure if that will be added. It would be nice if they add it to the app as well. But using the, the shutter button on the Osmo, it will do rapid shooting. I don't think you can turn it off. I haven't seen an option in the in the app for turning it off. Uh, what else have they added? Oh, this is probably the best feature that they've added. You can now do two-axis panning. 
they can do. It's quite hard to actually do it though, but just like you could do from the app itself, you can now do two axis pan and tilt. So, quite a nice feature. It's something people ask for, so it pretty much does the same thing as holding your finger on the screen always did. So they've uh, they've listened to their customers and added it to to the Osmo itself. Um, what else have they done? Oh, turning the Wi-Fi off. You can actually turn the Wi-Fi off now. It's a little bit fiddly, but you hold the trigger in and pull the power down at the same time. So you just go like that, and then it starts flashing. Flashing twice to say that the the Wi-Fi is disabled and you can see my app has died let's uh, see so the Osmo's disappeared now and it's supposed to do the same thing to turn it back on but I've had little success with it turning it back on you notice I've actually I ran it but it's still flashing twice indicating it's turned off so, Oh, there you go, and there you go, as you can notice in a second, that the Osmo will reappear. I think you just have to do it very, very quick. Wait for that to reappear. There you go, see the Osmo has reappeared. So it's a good feature for battery management. Wait for that to connect, and I'll just show it again. I think you just do it very quick, trigger and pull the power on very quick. Maybe not. Very, very hit and miss. So, either way, it's a feature that they've added. I probably need to experiment a little with that feature because it does seem a bit hit and miss. But if you're not using the app, and I, I quite often film without using a phone or a tablet, you can, um, you can turn it off and save battery. So I think that's the, I think that's the main features that they've added into into this latest firmware. I mean, it's worth noting you do need the latest firmware, obviously, and the latest app for most of these features. I mean, the Wi-Fi turning on and off, you can do that without the app it doesn't interact with it but everything else needs to uh, needs to be done from the app it's uh, from from the app uh, optimizations they've they've increased the, the battery performance so you get close to an hour of use now I think it's about 20% increase in battery performance so your mileage will change depending on temperature and stuff like that but you get very close to the hour now that they originally promised about 50 minutes 55 minutes so a lot of optimization has been done i've already mentioned that the cine like color option has been fixed d has been optimized as well audio volume gain has been tweaked a little bit to make it better it's still not perfect it's worth noting it is still not perfect the onboard mic is still crap so I think DJI have announced that they're gonna give a free little flexi mic for, for the users for users that have already bought it and I think if you buy one now it already ships with a little tiny flexible mic so I think there's there's an image of it on the forum already so they've optimized the audio but the audio gain but it's still a little bit rubbish using the onboard mic uh, people losing audio when when recording uh, with slow speed SD cards I think people re reported that problem that one's apparently been fixed uh, for, uh, it'll shoot two photos sometimes in the same angle sometimes when, you, when you're doing panoramic photos it'll shoot the same photo twice that's been fixed uh, the app now saves or well, the Osmo now saves the gimbal calibration, the horizon calibration settings when you restart the Osmo. It actually saves the option now. 
uh, something, see if I can actually show. Let's go to Gimbal. And, uh, advanced. Calibrate Horizon. I think now, if I set it to 1.6, Let's turn the turn the Osmo off. Turn it back on again. Wasn't actually asleep then. I think this is a bug that the app thought it went to sleep. But in reality, I turned the Osmo off. So it's a bit of a strange bug. Let's wait for it to come back and see if that setting's been remembered. Oop. Wrong one. Up again, <clears throat> close it all off. Let's go back to settings, gimbal calibration. There you go, and it's still on 1.6. So I'll set that. Oop. There you go, set it back to zero. So that's remembered when you shut the Osmo down. I think that's something some people requested. Uh, it doesn't let you connect two devices at the same time anymore. They never let you con control it at the same time. But you could connect two devices at the same time before. They've killed that off. So I think it caused problems with one of the apps, I think. Uh, gimbal Drift in time lapse. Much better. It's I think it's almost perfect now. Um, and I think some other, some other tweaks have been done. I think the the install of the firmware itself excuse me it's a little bit better so i think that's it really uh so just wait for the next video uh, enjoy the osmo have fun